Hi, I'm Michael Chiarello. Welcome to San Francisco, and more importantly, my new little Spanish restaurant, Coqueta. And today, this piece is all about halibut. Local halibut, right from the ocean, right to our kitchen. If we're gonna do a halibut dish, for us as a chef, we wanna start with it on the bone. So this is a beautiful wild halibut. Flatfish, kinda of swims like this, right? We try to use the skin on the, on the fish whenever we can. There's a ton of flavor. All right, off it goes. Right, this is gonna be about a, a six ounce portion. You cut them straight through. Fish is jet gold. You have to look at the perishability of fish in minutes. Really. All right, now that we've filleted our fish, we took some of the bones, and you should do the same thing. You make a little fume, right? And if you end up buying a filleted halibut from your fishmonger, ask them for some fish bones in back. We have some beautiful marrow beans that we cooked in some of that fume. Some manila clams from nearby. A Meyer lemon. When it comes to citrus, at least out here in California, this is the king of all citrus. We're going to finish it with a little ode to my other country, <laughs> Italy, a little Calabrian chili just to give it a very, very, very small bite. And the star of our show, of course, are filet halibut, right? Isn't that fantastic? Now, I told you to keep them cold before, but right before you cook them, give them a few minutes to room temperature, right? It'll take half the time to cook, and it'll be a beautiful opaque in the inside. A little chef tip for you. All right, we have all of our mise en place now. Let's go in the kitchen, I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so to start with, pretty easy. There's our garlic, getting nice and light brown. And a little bit of this Calabrian chili, right into the oil, so it'll release. Now that little teeny bit of flour, just to hold that together. All right, that's gonna cook out for just a little bit. We're gonna take just some white wine in a pan, and you can serve the rest of it with dinner. Now, the same wine that you would cook with would be a wine that you'd wanna drink with. Clams go in. Now that flour's gotten nice there, right? No color on it. We can go in with some of the broth. We have the white beans. Beans are there. Lots of parsley. Parsley is an ingredient, not a garnish. These will simmer for a couple more minutes. I'm gonna get my fish on the plancha. It's gonna take a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna go right down on the plancha, skin side down. Now don't touch it. You gotta wait there until it gets nice and caramelized. That's gonna take about two minutes on this side. And I wait, I'll be able to see when the fish is halfway cooked. I'm gonna turn it over for just a minute on the other side, just to get it a little bit brown, and the fish will come right off. But those little bits with that skin are gonna make it super, super tasty. You wanna pull these off about 20% before they're done. That way, the carryover cooking, if the heat goes all the way through, will be perfect. Our fish is perfect right now. It's still medium rare in the middle. Perfect. Now follow me, I'll show you a really nice presentation. All right, now here's the fun part. Now with the beans, Touch of flour just gives a nice creaminess there. If it comes to clams and pulling those out, I want some of the juice of the clam from in there, right, sitting in. And your halibut. We'll use the clams to kind of set him up a little bit. Take a little bit of this broth over the top of the fish. And my favorite, this Meyer lemon zest. What's happening is the oil's actually spraying down toward the fish. It's not just the zest, it's the oils that you want. There you have it. Local halibut done in the Basque tradition with salsa verde, white beans, and a few clams. It's a beautiful dish. Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Gundry, the general manager here at Pacific Cafe in San Francisco. We're going to have you come in tonight and show you how we do our famous halibut parmesan. Glad to have you. Let's go. The chefs tonight are also brothers. Both of them have been here 35 years. Roy and Rennie are gonna show you how they do the halibut parmesan. The first step is that we fillet the halibut. We take the fillet and we lightly dust it with flour, dip that into a egg wash. We take that and roll it in a dredging of finely grated Parmesan cheese. We then take the coated Parmesan filet, drop it in the pan, lightly brown it on both sides. At the perfect time, Rennie takes that and he puts that pan in the oven and finishes cooking it for just a couple of minutes so that it's lightly golden on the outside, crispy and moist on the inside. From there, we plate that with our hand-cut French fries and a side of our delicious homemade tartar sauce. Hi, my name is Ritsuo Tsuchida. I'm the executive chef of the Brokey Sushi. Today, I'm gonna make Haiba Kuru dough, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Come inside. 
Hi, uh, welcome in the restaurant. Now I'm, I'm gonna make halibut halibut crudo, uh, which is one of the, our signature dishes. And ingredients are uh, halibut, marinate with uh, Japanese dashi kombu. On top of that, mango salsa with shiraita kombu and shiso leaf. We're gonna start it from uh, uh, making this mango salsa. First of all, chop the shiso leaf. Now we're chopping the shiraita kombu. Now we're gonna chop the mango. After chop the mango and shiso and kelp, uh, we're gonna mix up on, on the cutting board to make the mango salsa. I chop it as fine as possible because we're gonna put on the thin slice of the halibut. Then this is mango salsa is done. Now we're gonna slice the halibut, which is already marinated with Japanese kelp. It's traditional technique for the sushi called kobujime. Now we're gonna cut so thin because we're gonna roll it just like sushi nigiri size. After we slice the halibut, we're gonna roll it one by one. If you have a chopstick like this, sashimi chopstick, you can roll it like this. And then stand it. This halibut already had the seasoning flavor from the kelp. And if the mango is really light, sometimes a little sour, so we're gonna adjust it with ponzu sauce. We dress the ponzu on the bottom of the dish. We're gonna drop two drops of white truffle oil for each halibut. So now we're gonna put mango salsa on top of the halibut. This is a really tiny space on top of the halibut. Now we're gonna put wasabi flavored tobiko on top of the mango salsa. And then American caviar on top of the wasabi tobiko. Yep, that's it. That's complete dish. This is our halibut crudo. 